Now, unfortunately, with the gift of tongues, this gift is probably one of the most abused gifts that's out there. And I really wish it wasn't, because uh, it's actually a wonderful gift. It's something that God has given. But it can be used, and it has been used at times, to indicate that perhaps some people, some Christians have a higher status. If they, if they have the gift of tongues, they're, they're just a little extra special, because they can speak in tongues. And that's impressive, you know. Man, what's funny about this is it's like it's completely of God's accord, right? It's like the funny thing about tongues is that you have no idea what you're saying. So it's not impressive just to be saying things you have no idea what it is. But it's been used, it's been elevated in that way. And even worse than that, sometimes it's been used, sometimes it's, it's, it's taught and said that if you don't pray in tongues, then you haven't actually received the power of the Spirit in the first place. So for example, and I hate doing this, but uh, you know, it's, it's, you gotta do it sometimes. But for example, like Hill Songs would teach that. And there's lots of things to like about Hill Songs. We like a lot of them worship music, but they're wrong on this one. They will teach that if you don't speak in tongues, then you haven't received the Holy Spirit. Problem is that's an extrapolation of scripture. Scripture doesn't actually teach that. Some even take it further than that. And they say, if you don't speak in tongues, that's evidence you're not even a Christian. Now that's way out of bounds, way out of bounds. So we don't elevate, we don't elevate the gift of tongues. Actually, Paul seems to downgrade tongues because he says, uh, if you're gonna really go after any gift, go after prophecy, I'd much rather you, especially that you would prophesy. And even some of the lists of gifts, tongues is at the end of the list. So it even seems like, hey, you know, it's, it's not one of the big ones. Even though it was the, the first one, it's not necessarily one of the big ones. Paul says it's good to desire it. I wish you could all speak in tongues. Hey, it's great to desire it, but there's no special, extra special Christian that gets to speak in tongues that somehow they're better than others. Also, Paul says, do all speak in tongues? In the same line as he says, are all apostles? And we know that all are not apostles. Do all speak in tongues? The answer is no. No, so it can't be, the gift of tongues cannot be the one sign that you have to get to know you're a believer or to know you've received power from the Spirit. It cannot be based on what the scripture says itself. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.